um, yeah, the shoes are really good. They're lasting really well. I haven't had any problems at all. Um, yeah, just as I was expecting, really, for about this time of year, half term in, they're doing really good. So, yeah, no problems. Um, the Zach's shoes, the boys' shoes, have been really good. Um, I think I sent you photos of the girls. They seem to have messed up the front quite a lot, but we did polish them over the weekend, and they've come up really well. They almost look like they're brand new again. I think just having one polish in a whole half term and having the shoe look new seems quite good. Um, so the surface damage is, is, can be covered up. So I'm, yeah, I've been really pleased with them. They've been really comfy for everyone. Everyone seems really happy. Absolutely brilliant, because obviously you can't scuff them because it's got to be bumper on the front. Um, and also, I hope it sounds a trivial thing, but the laces are quite thick. The laces have been really good. But they're holding up really well. Um, you know, so the leather's fine. Not noticed any, you know, really visible wear in them. She absolutely loves them. She cycles to school, she uh, scooters to school, she's taken up um, skateboarding to school. They are really, really put to the test. So um, they're quite badly scuffed. That's just because the way she's treated them. But actually, I found um, when we treat them, so when we polish them up, they polish up really well. So no, I mean they're they're looking like she's worn them, um, but they're holding up well. You know, they're not um, caving under the pressure, as it were. They're really good. We're really pleased with them. There's um, they're, they're polishing up well. They're sort of there's no scuffs, even though she's a really busy kid. Um, so that's they're obviously quite tough, which I'm quite pleased with. Um, only a tiny bit of wear on the bottom, so yeah, it's nearly nearly termed on and or half termed on, and, and yeah, I am actually really quite impressed. Really good. Well, you know that we had a hiccup right at the beginning where Laura refused to wear them, but um, yeah, once she did, I was really pleased actually. Um, so Laura was worried that because she has those straps across the feet. Um, she had them on her old shoes and she didn't like them. They always dug into her feet. I think that's why she refused to try the new ones to start off with. But since she swapped, um, she hasn't complained once about it. Um, they've been absolutely fine. Um, one pair, the Rhino, the other bumper at the front, the Rhino is really good. Um, it's starting to come away. It's, um, I've sent you some images so you can see. Um, it's got like a chunk out of it which keeps it bigger. Not affected the shoes in any way. They just don't look as nice if that makes sense. Um, but that's with Minnie who really does destroy his shoes. So and both boys wear their shoes um, all the time. Well, there's only one day a week that they don't wear them to school. But they scoop and they cycle to school and they also play on their skateboards and sometimes skateboard to school. Um, I must admit, I was a bit daunted by it when the, the gadget arrived. I was a bit daunted about having to do it myself, but um, yeah, it was dead easy. And then when the shoes came, I guess there's that element of panic where you think, oh, what if I did it wrong? But the video was helpful. It just helps to have a video rather than a description on a piece of paper. On a Friday, we let her choose whatever she wants to wear. And she, in the past, she would have worn trainers on a Friday. But she actually chooses to wear those shoes now, even when it looks a bit funny with her outfit. She's had no issues at all with them. And um, I think fitting them myself was actually, it was really good in that I did feel quite confident that, you know, having, having seen how well and how close the fitting is and being able to measure them myself, I did feel quite confident that they were a good fit and there was just nothing, no issues at all. Um, so all the tests that, you know, you said to do, like pulling them and stuff, they were brilliant, so they were just right. Yeah, the fitting process, it was, yeah, it was easy enough. I think I did misorder one size, didn't I? But I think that was my fault because she was on the border between two sizes and I chose the bigger size. If I'd done it per the instructions and not added a bit on, they would have been fine. Um, checking the fit was fine, yeah, and they've all been really comfortable for the kids as well. So I haven't got any problems there at all. The fitting process was really easy. Follow the um, fitting all, follow the, the, the how to do it online. Um, I checked them, I sort of had to put their measurements, and my husband did it just to make sure that um, the shoes at the end of the both fit absolutely perfectly. Uh, not really. She seemed to fit into them straight away. There wasn't really that um, kind of adjustment process of they're a bit tight and then they loosen. They seemed to do really well from the beginning, really. So that was good. They're fine, you know, when they sort of just start to look a bit dull, so they're ready for a polish now, actually. Um, 
but I've, yeah, they're, they're really, really good and they polish up, then they're perfect again. Obviously there's, there's um, creases from where her foot bends, but otherwise there's nothing, nothing's changed. Um, and inside as well, I was impressed with the fact that often inside shoes, you know, when she's married, there's, there seems to be, the, the inside changes and gets more worn and less comfortable. And in here, there's, there's nothing, it's all stayed in place and there's no sort of bend in the, in the inside that looks uncomfy. It's been, yeah, it's really good. They've polished really well. Um, they still look pretty good um, and they're still comfortable. They've not stretched too much. They're absolutely fine. I have polished them once because they were looking a little bit scuffed on the front, the very front of the toes. Yeah, I think, yeah, if you only have to clean them once every couple of weeks, I think that's fine. It didn't take us very long to clean them up at all and they just come out really well. So, yeah, I think that's expected. I mean, kids do, because my children scoot to school as well. So I think part of the problem is they're putting their foot behind and, like, dragging it on the floor. <laughs> so it's no surprise to look like they do, really. They've probably done quite well to look as good as they do. <laughs> Girls are doing exactly the same thing as boys. They're all scooting to school. They're all playing the same games outside. I really don't understand why girls' shoes are like they are and so different to boys' shoes. I think you'd always need the girly shoes because some girls like that, but it'd be nice to have another option as well. Neve likes to wash them with baby wipes every now and again, give them a push, go to school, get rid of any mud, but haven't had to do anything other than that.